Hello and welcome to release 12.2 install and patch Oracle eBusiness Suite course. This entire course has been designed for people who do not have Oracle background or people who have got some Oracle background and they're looking for learning Oracle eBusiness Suite. And for the purpose of learning, they want to have a personal instance of Oracle eBusiness Suite installed within their laptop or desktop. And because of this reason, I have taken a low end configuration desktop to mimic the same process of installation end to end, right from installing Oracle VirtualBox to the Linux operating system and then installing the entire release 12.2.4 of Oracle eBusiness Suite. So the way I have designed the course is we will first understand the number of different software that we've got to download, which includes the Oracle Virtual Box, then Virtual Box Guest Editions, then Oracle Linux Operating System, and then Oracle eBusiness Suite software itself. Once we have downloaded all the software, then one by one, we have got to install it. So we're going to start by installing Oracle VirtualBox on Windows 7 host operating system. And as a next step, we will configure the VirtualBox and make sure the settings are required for Oracle eBusiness Suite installations are all completed. Once we have all that in place, then we'll start by installing Oracle Linux operating system, which will take around an hour to complete. Once Linux is there in place, then we've got to go inside Linux and configure the Linux kernel parameters for our next installation of Oracle eBusiness Suite. The configuration not only includes the kernel parameter settings, but also creation of users for Oracle eBusiness Suite database tire as well as the application tire, plus installing a number of required RPMs. So we will complete all that. And then as a next step, we have got to create the stage area for installing Oracle eBusiness Suite. So this time in release 12.2.0 onwards, Oracle has provided a utility which is called as buildstage.sh that can be used to automatically extract and build the entire stage area from the software dump that you have downloaded from Oracle eDelivery website. So it kind of cuts down the manual steps for you to one by one unzip each of the files. Once we have that in place, then we'll simply go ahead and launch the rapid install wizard and provide all the configuration related settings for installing Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2.0. The installation process itself takes around four to five hours to complete. Depending on your laptop or desktop configuration, it could be longer. Once we have completed that, then the next step is to go and upgrade from 12.2.0 to 12.2.4. You can't simply upgrade directly by applying the upgrade patch, but before applying the patch, you've got to apply a number of pre-upgrade patches to both database tire as well as the application tire. The database tire patches are mostly straightforward and the instructions are usually given in the readme.patch file. Whereas on the application tire, the application tire itself divided into four different areas and you've got to apply the patches to all these four areas one by one, which includes the application server, the fusion middleware server, the web tire and the web logic server. Once we have applied the patches to all these four areas, then we are ready 
and it's time to apply a SuiteWrite upgrade patch to upgrade from 12.2.0 to 12.2.4. And once you have run the patch, it takes a couple of hours to complete the upgrade process. Now once it has been done, then as a next step, we have got to complete a couple of post upgrade steps, which includes applying the help related patches and some other configuration, which are optional in nature. So by that, we would complete release 12.2.4 installation and we will stop as far as the installation procedure goes. Then we will switch to the host computer, configure the host computer to access release 12.2.4 environment on the browser. And then we will log in into eBusiness Suite via the JRE and make sure we've got the right version installed as release 12.2.4. So that's all are the contents of the course that we would be doing. It will be straightforward and easy to install right from the fundamentals to release 12.2.4. Now before we go ahead, I'm going to show you very quickly that I have indeed completed all the installation successfully and I will take you to the JRE of Oracle eBusiness Suite and show you that version of release 12.2.4 by going to help and about Oracle applications and you can see the release that I have installed is 12.2.4 and it has been recently installed. But I'm going to discard this particular demo instance and we will start from scratch to let you know the complete procedure end to end. All right, so let's get started. 